up YouTube. This is Air One Forever Comic Fan coming at you with a tag video. Now, I was tagged by a great friend of mine, great Funko uh, collector, British Geeky Guy. Uh, now, if you don't have not sub and don't know who I'm talking about, sub him up right now. You can go to my description and click on his click on the link, sub him up, and then come back to the video. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. This guy definitely has an awesome channel. Uh, he does uh, comic book, new comic book Wednesday, comic carpet, uh, and he has a crazy collection of Funkos. Uh, the way he displays them is just crazy. Uh, he has a glass case of Funkos in his behind him. It looks like a Funko museum. He used to charge tickets to see that stuff. Uh, but thank you a lot for tagging me. I'm so happy about this video. Uh, it took me a while. It's very hard to just make this list. Uh, and not even just to make it, but just put stuff in order. It is very hard. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This is my top 10 Funko Grails. Now, what a Grail is to me is a Funko that is unreachable. Uh, it's basically a shot shot in the dark if you're going to get it, uh, depending on availability or price. Now, the prices to these Funkos are all going to be off of uh, FunkoPriceGuide.com, price uh, so it's not numbers that I made up, it's numbers they made up, so blame, <laughs> blame them. Uh, but let's get into this. Uh, number 10 is going to be the alternate universe uh, Leela and Fry. It's a two pack Funko Pop. It was a New York Comic Con exclusive, and they only made 750 of these pieces. Uh, I only seen this, I believe, once at a con. Uh, the dealer wanted crazy amounts for it, uh, but it goes for on the website, it goes for nope, it ranks, <laughs> it doesn't go, it ranks $120. So that basically is the bottom price for it, you know, with dealers, with even comic books, action figures, whatever. They're going to try to make their money back of what they pay for it. So that would be number 10. I would really love to have that. It'll complete my alternate universe for uh, Futurama. And it's just an episode that I really love when they do the alternate universe thing. Uh, now for number 9 on my list uh, is going to be... Oren Ishii from Kill Bill. Now, this was uh, Lucy Liu's character on this. It's really not um, for my list. It's really not that of an expensive pop. It's just, it ranks for uh, $45, but it's just hard to see. I, I, hard to find. I've never seen this pop ever in the wild. Uh, not at a comic book shop or cons or uh, Frankenstein's. I've never seen this ever. So I would love to have this definitely to complete the Kill Bill uh, series. So that would be my number nine Funko Pop. My number eight on my list would be Unmasked Jason Voorhees. This is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive and they only made a thousand and eight of these Funko Pops. Now this pop is just, I love the scope of it. It's just so ridiculous. Uh, and I'm a huge uh, Jason fan too. So that would be awesome to have to my collection. This one ranges for uh, 150 or, or just 150 flat. I have seen this a couple of times, but the dealers want way more. Probably double or maybe like, you know, 45% added onto that. So it's a pop that, you know, definitely on the ground list. Uh, another pop that I would like to have is that ranks number seven on my list, is Alan and Carlos from Hangover. I loved that movie. That movie was just epic. Uh, I love the scope of this. Uh, not only the movie was awesome and the characters were awesome, but just the scope of this Funko Pop. I mean, Funko was doing, you know, back then, not the scopes they're doing now, which are excellent, but just, just to have the idea to do that scope back then, it's just great. Uh, you see Alan chilling with the beard and baby strapped to his stomach, call him Baby Carlos. Uh, so that would be awesome. I have actually never seen this Funko 
it was a while before. Uh, this one goes for uh, 120 on the Funko price guide. Uh, so yeah, you know, dealers are gonna push that up. Uh, another one, I, now this one, I believe Burst Geeky Guy had on his list. Uh, I don't remember where it ranked, but you can check the video out. Uh, Leonidas. This was, this is a sick pop. I actually just found out about this pop maybe two months ago. Uh, uh, and there are two dealers at Frankenstein's that do have it, but they want, remember how I told you dealers want their money for it? Uh, money back for it, plus interest, like they're like little mobsters. Uh, this pop goes for $145. That's the price, basic price range. One dealer wanted $400 for it. I think the other one wanted like uh, $600 for it. You know, and it's just, it's just crazy. Like, you, not even you want to make your money back, but you want to, you know, quadruple your money back. So, that's one definitely on my list. Uh, the Leonidas, uh, it's the only one from 300 that they did make. The scope is awesome. It's one of the pops, even though I'm not going to buy it when I go to Frankenstein's, I look at it just to keep it in my mind. Uh, now, for number five on my list, this one's actually at Frankenstein's too. Uh, this one is Red Skull. Now, I love this character. I love the scope. Uh, and I love the fact that they have not did him again and just messed him up. Uh, just that scope of him is just excellent. Like I said, there is a de dealer at Frankenstein that does have him. Uh, but he wants crazy mounts for him. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, and this one for the pop price guy, this one goes for 220. So yeah, uh, number three on my list, uh, gotta be a Deadpool. You know there's a Deadpool on my list. Uh, this one right here is Deadpool Metallic from San Diego Comic Con. Uh, I don't have the year. I think it was maybe uh, but before 2010 probably uh so yeah i think maybe i want to say 2005 maybe or i'm not sure whatever but i want it <laughs> uh this one they only made 480 of these pieces so uh it's just awesome just i would love to have it i don't think besides this I, and another exclusive that's metallic i think this is the only metallic deadpool they have i mean they made a metallic uh Deathstroke, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, they have not made a, a metallic Deadpool, so what up with that, Funko? But anyways, uh, yeah, this one goes for 250 so yeah, I would love to have that in my collection. Uh, for number two is a, yeah, this one is sick, this one is a uh, Planet Vegeta New York Comic Con in Toy Tokyo exclusive. Uh, it's basically Vegeta in his battle armor, and it's basically shaded brown, and it's just so sick. Uh, I have no idea how many uh, ones they go for, but uh, this one online for uh, Funko Price Guide is eight hundred and eighty dollars. Like they didn't want to put it to nine hundred to tick you off. They just took 20 back, and it's like, you know what? We're going to make it 880 so you guys can have hope. <laughs> Get out of here. But, yeah, that one is one that I want very bad. Uh, I mean, I am a huge Dragon Ball Z uh, fan, so it just to have that is just going to be it'll <sighs> mind-blowing. Okay, so for the top one, top Funko on my list for grills, I think it's totally unreachable for me to get. Unless I win a lot or something, you know, is Uncle Freddy Deadpool Orange San Diego Comic Con 2014 exclusive. I mean, this Funko Pop, just just have a Funko Freddy of Deadpool is just would be cool for me, being a huge Deadpool fan. Uh, but this Funko, out of all the Funko Freddy Deadpools they made, looks so clean. Uh, just the orange, it just looks just crazy. So, they only made 24 
24 pieces of this. I've never seen it before. Uh, man, they just probably made it for the Funko people. Uh, but dang, man, just to have this would be crazy. Now, this Funko Pop goes for $2,000 on the price guide. Now, that's just a price guide. So, even on eBay, I, I don't even try to look for that on eBay. Because that would be maybe like $4,000 Funko Pop. But that would be just crazy to have that. I would love to get that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that's my top 10 Braille list. Now, these are some honorable mentions that I do have. I hope this is okay, British and Geeky Guy. These are upgrades I want to do. I know a lot of people have comments and they're like, oh, it's, you know, it's a five, it's a, you know, five, five or a six, you know, grade. I would like to upgrade it to, you know, an eight or a nine. So these are upgrades for my fungos that I would like to upgrade. So for number one, okay, these two right here, Jules, you can see them, all right, Jules and Vinton. You know, I would love to upgrade these to the San Diego Bloody Bear. Now even I am in a talk with someone to trade, but you know I gotta I gotta talk them down. But I would love to upgrade these to the San Diego exclusive bloody one. That would be that would be so cool. Uh, for another one, same thing. Uh, I have a Rorschach, but I would love to get the San Diego uh, variant, the blood uh, this variant of this. Uh, I don't know what year. It was in, but it's just crazy. But just having that would be awesome. Uh, the V for Vendetta. He, I believe, also is San, San Diego Con. Crazy. But I think it's a also a metallic version of him. It just looks so sick. Uh, basically, it kind of looks gold to me for the picture. So to have an upgrade of him would just be sick. Uh, last but not least... Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, but I, I'm blessed to have this Ghost Rider, uh, and so lucky. Uh, but the metallic San Diego Con Ghost Rider is just ridiculous, and to just not have both, but just trade him for that one, for this one, would be just. So that those are my honorable mentions. Uh, I'm supposed to tag three people, so I'm gonna tag uh, Funk off. Uh, he has a great collection. Uh, Ag Surfer, he has a sick collection too. Uh, and Popcom, I know he has. A, he started collecting Funko Pop, so I like to know what Grail is. They all, all three of them, they have. I would. I'm gonna leave a link to the video in the description. For all of their channels and BGGs. So make sure you check all of them out. If you're not sub to them, sub to them. Thank you guys. Everyone, Cyber, peace out. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I missed my number four Funko Pop on my top grill. I was so excited to get the, to the Deadpool one, I just completely blew by it. But my number four and uh, Spectacular Spider Grandpa has mentioned it. He thought I had it, but I don't. And it's something that I would love to have in my collection is any Jean Grey. Uh, I believe there's three of them. Uh, there's a uh, Jean Grey. There is a Dark Phoenix. And there is a White Phoenix that I believe glows in the dark. Uh, but just to have these in my collection is, uh, would be awesome, uh, even with the new X-Men Apocalypse, uh, they didn't do a Jean Grey, so just to have those in my collection is, uh, pretty awesome, uh, I think one is, like, $45, uh, and then the others, I think, are maybe, uh, 100 to $125, but, uh, sorry again, that was my number four on my Funko list. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you guys sub to all the people I mentioned before. Peace out.